Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a Born Pretty haul and I'm also combining it with some PR that I got. The stuff I just pushed away on the left is the stuff that I got. Technically I didn't actually pay for that stuff. They had sent me a coupon for my birthday and I pretty much used that coupon to buy all of that stuff on the left. I'm going to start with the PR stuff because I'm kind of happy with what I got this time. The rubber base gels are probably my favourite thing in this haul. I'm going to start with the jelly polishes. These are thermal jelly polishes. I don't own any of these so I thought let me pick these and have them in my collection. A lot of the things I'm going to be showing in this video I actually haven't used before such as the rubber base gel, the extension hand gel or whatever that's called, a lot of it, even the spider gel and you might be like why have you not tried spider gel before and the answer is I actually don't know. I always thought I wouldn't need to need it, that makes no sense. I just thought that I wouldn't need it so I never got it but I'm kind of glad I did get it. I got a black and a white one. I figured I would use that for straight lines if I didn't want to paint that out. For the jelly thermal polishes, I picked out a black and this pinkish color. I want to try some of the Korean nail trends, the nuanced nails. I want to give those a try to see how I like them on myself. I see them all the time and I admire them so much, so I need to go ahead and finally give it a try. In my dappen dish, I have some hot water in there and the black you can see a difference with the pink i couldn't see a difference so i put it in some really cold water off camera and then i dipped it back in the hot water and you can somewhat see a difference when the nail is hot it will turn a lighter shade of that pink off topic i hate saying water because i don't actually say water i say water and as of recently i've been getting clowned for how brits say bottle of water and <laughs> I'm so conscious of it so I'm like I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna say it that way but I'm trying to speed run this voiceover so I'm not gonna put on my YouTube voice you're probably gonna hear my accent a little bit more and I'm gonna speak a lot faster so this is my favorite thing in this whole entire haul are these rubber base gels so I've never used these before I first actually saw this on Tia Bella's channel I'm sure I've seen it somewhere else but it was most staple to me when I watched her video I even got the same color she did and when I painted my nails I used the same technique that she did there's something about these I like them so much more than builder gels well let me rephrase not builder gels as a whole but just builder gel in a bottle the last time i used a builder gel in a bottle i didn't really like it very much however these rubber base gels are so easy to work with when i was painting it on this swatch stick this was me trying to get a feel for it i initially instantly started floating and that's what i do with builder gel that didn't really work out so well for me. I found that it was a bit lumpy and bumpy. The next color that I swatched, I was able to find the rhythm and I preferred painting it rather than floating. Painting it almost went on a lot smoother and it's also quicker than floating. I had taken it off camera to try and figure out how to apply it but I wish I was filming because then you would have seen how easy it went on. I did show the second coat but it is hard to see because I'm just applying it over the same colour. Long story short, painting it is so much easier. I decided to do an overlay on my natural nails and when I was watching Tia Bella's video she used a liner brush to pretty much fill out the sides and the cuticle area and I believe that's like the proper way to do it so I went ahead and did the same thing. These are still on my nails. I filmed this when did I film this? I don't even know when I filmed this but it's been a couple of days and it's still going strong and it's given my nails so much strength. This is how they turned out. I realized that when I was doing these, I didn't go over to the free edge enough because you can actually see the melanin in my nails kind of peeking through at the free edge, but I'm not really too bothered. I did this as a protective layer. Next are the spider gels. So I didn't swatch the black, white, and red that I had because 
we've already seen that so i decided to swatch these these are the reflective glitter ones the names are a little bit faded off of the lid so i'll put it somewhere on the screen so you can see precisely what name it is if you do want any of these things for yourself i have a discount code with born pretty and it is phyllis i'll also put that on the screen but anyways let me get into the spider gels i enjoyed using these they are fun to work with i got so carried away and realized that if i was going to use spider gel on myself or someone else I would need to clean the underside before I cured it. I realized it after I cured it. I decided to use a dotting tool to apply the spider gel. I have seen people use their fingers, but I keep seeing that it's actually super bad to touch gel products with your bare fingers. So I decided not to, and I didn't want to mess up my glove. However, later on in the video, I do use my hands to touch one of the gel products because I tried it with gloves and it was just sticking to the gloves and it wasn't working out. These are how the three colours are looking. My favourite is the gold. I feel like it stands out the most. I thought the rose gold would look more rose goldy, but either way, it doesn't matter. It's still a pretty colour. Next, I got two of the non-stick extension gels. I was really excited to try these because I know you can do so much with them. When I first opened this one, I thought there was like some sort of plastic still over it, but it was the gel. It was... A weird film of it once i stopped playing around with it i just mixed it all up and it was good to go the texture of this is hard that's the best way i can put it it's very firm it almost reminds me of like hubba bubba i don't know i hope you can somewhat see what i mean as i'm working with it i also think it was super firm because my house is a little bit cold once i actually picked it up and started working with it the warmth of my fingers kind of made it a little bit more softer. When I held them up side by side, I realized that the white has a glossy finish and the pink had a matte finish. The way I decided to use this was to do some 3D flowers. I've never done 3D flowers before and I'm going to warn you, it doesn't look that cute. But <laughs> I decided to try that out because I like the idea of these gels being used for some sort of 3D charm or some 3D art. So that's what I decided to do. I also sculpted these in the worst way possible. I couldn't find the right tool to make the dent in the petals. So I just used the swatch stick. <laughs> also, I used my fingers to roll these up into balls. Then I flattened them out onto the swatch stick. Don't use your hands, use a glove. I know it's gonna be a little bit hard to use a glove, but just don't use your hands. I've heard just all sorts of horror stories about contact dermatitis so you're better off struggling with gloves than catching contact dermatitis i also noticed that if you use your hands you'll have fingerprints in some of the stuff you can file it off or you can smooth it before curing i didn't do any of that i just covered it with a rhinestone but anyways that is it for the haul if you like this video like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching